has seen this? BuzzFeed's list of the 25 most evil serial killers of all time, and not a woman on it. Are you kidding me? This is an outrage. Really? What about Bertha Treehorn? 77 bodies with penises sewed to their faces doesn't get you on that list? Bundy's on there, right? He is my absolute favorite. His technique was just so elegant. He really changed the game, you know? He proved that you don't have to be some ugly, schlumpy white guy to be a serial killer. He is the best. Patty, this is exactly what I've been talking about. You're playing right into the patriarchy's hands talking like that. You don't have a problem with the lack of women in the murder industry? Well, men are more aggressive, so it just makes more sense. Excuse me, but there are great women serial killers out there. They just don't get the proper media coverage. It's mostly the media's fault. And uh, let's be honest, uh, the best ones are still at large because women are smarter than men. I think we can all agree on that. Okay, but how are we going to distinguish ourselves as serial killers? I don't want to be gimmicky. I think we need to have the copycat conversation. I just think a really great way for us to change the game is by bringing some attention to female leaders in this traditionally male-dominated industry that have already laid some notable groundwork. Ugh, even the word copycat, it just, it just takes all the art right out of it. I like where you're thinking with this, but I'm not sure that's the way to make the strongest statement. But I'm not completely opposed. Who do you have in mind? Okay. The two that stood out the most in my research are Vera Klimkovsky and Tammy the Loon. Ugh, Tammy the Loon is so frumpy. And who the hell is Vera Klimkovsky? Uh, Vera is one of the first women to incorporate drunken snow art with the blood of her victims. Patty, seriously, this judging in the female form has got to stop. As women, we have to be allies to each other. They're counting on us to tear each other down. So sue me if I feel like we should strive to be our best selves, to exude an outward image that reflects the inner beauty that we all possess. You know, like Beyonce. I mean, she's someone that takes an artistic approach to how she presents herself while still exuding strong feminine power. Beyonce. Patty, I don't mean to be mean. I just think that you're kind of playing along with all the sheep and the mainstream media. I mean, the kinds of women who think, women don't have it that bad, are the ones who obsess about the lives of famous people like Beyonce. Oh my god, you guys, that's it! What? what? We kill people and display them in super public places dressed as strong, famous women, like with wig and makeup and wardrobe. Women like Beyonce and Ellen and Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart? Oh my god, it's genius. The media will eat it up. They won't be able to help themselves. I know. I feel like it's a great way for us to be represented and heard. You guys, I am obsessed with this idea. This is just what this generation of female serial killers need. A strong female role model with mass appeal. Okay, so who do we target? Okay, feminism is 100% not about man-hating. Oh, God, no, of course not. But I feel like if we want to make a place for women in the world of serial killing and help our cause, our target group is pretty obvious. White heterosexual males. Obviously.